Minneapolis's first cat cafe is on the move. It is. It's prowling. A cafe <laughs> meow set up shop in Roseville, and it opened over the weekend. Shane Wells is checking out the all new location for us this morning, and she's trying to find Mr. Whiskers for me. Good morning, Shane. Tom, we have some potential Ooh. suitors, but we'll get to that later. Very You're good. always looking for a Mr. Whiskers. Yes. Uh, good news is there's about 28 cats here to get to know, and they can have up to about 30, but we have Jessica Burge with us. She is the owner of Cafe Meow, yes. first cat cafe in Minneapolis. Yes. Started in 2017? 2018? Uh, yeah, 2018. And how many adoptions have you had since then? Uh, over 900. That's amazing, and that's yes. why you do this. Yes, exactly, to get these cats into homes. Okay, so tell us how this works. I, for people who maybe haven't been to a cafe where there's animals, it's over there on the other side of the windows, yeah. the coffee shop. Yeah, so the cafe is on one side. You can get specialty local uh, coffee, tea, if you like chai or maybe a pumpkin spice latte. Yep. We have every fall flavor you can imagine. And then you can come in to see the cats. There is a small fee because we do foster these cats for rescues. They're all available for adoption. So when you come in, um, that just helps us cover their care. And there's a lot of them to care for here, and yes. that's the whole purpose. So come in, cuddle with the cats, have your coffee. It feels like a real win-win here. Yes. Um, you have a board up there, so you work with two rescues who then you get their How does that part work? Yeah, so the rescues provide the cats, and then we foster them here until they get adopted. They stay with us until their adoption day, and people come in and get to enjoy them. If you just want to come socialize with them, maybe you can't have a cat of your own, it's a great way to come experience uh, cats and just get that mood boost throughout the day. And um, otherwise, yeah, it's a great way to find the cat that really fits your home and your uh, what you're looking for because you get to know their personality rather than a cat in a cage or out on a street. Sure. You really get to know them. And you, like you said, you could come back again and again. It's an excuse to get your coffee. Too. Exactly. <laughs> yes. um, how many people come here and they're like, I'm just going to get a coffee and head out or they're going to like do some work and then they end up in here cuddling? A fair amount of people, yeah. yeah. They come in and they're like, oh, that's so cool. I got to go in there and check them out. <laughs> uh, tell us uh, your new location. What are the cross streets here? Just so people know. Yeah, Lexington and Larpenter in okay. Roseville. That's a hopping spot. I feel like uh, when I came in, Gretel was really trying to get my attention from the other side of the window. And then I came in, she right away was loving on me. So I can see how that happens. You've yeah. adopted out so many cats. I have to ask, how many do you have? I have five of my own at home, and I did end up adopting two from the cafe as well. I was going to say that would be so hard <laughs> to be surrounded by these cats and not take them home when they sat oh, here yeah. a little too long. Is there a cat here that you think deserves a good home? They all deserve a good yes. home, but somebody who you're like, this cat is going to make somebody so happy. Yes. Who would that be? Of and I know this is hard to say because it's who so knows hard what this to cat say. is going to be. Um, so is it Portia? Portia. Uh, Portia is right over there. She's wandering this way, but I think she got distracted. Oh, there she She's is. She's been with us for a while. Um, she was left in a tiny home and with a bunch of other cats, and she's super sweet. She's so overlooked, though, and um, she just really, really um, goes out of her way to make everyone feel special. She'll paw at you when you come in to say, like, hi, welcome, come meet me. <laughs> she did that to Sarah right when he walked in. I have a picture, you guys. I'll put it on my Instagram, but she like leaned up to like touch him on the chest, like you need me, take me home, Siraj. <laughs> Maybe he's considering. Anyway, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. But again, this is the new Cafe Meow location in Roseville. Today they open at 11, open every day, but Mondays. And again, there's a New Hope location mm -hmm. as well, in case that one's closer to you. Yeah. With many other loving cats who are looking for homes. Yeah, Aww. and I think Siraj has a new cat. Is what's happening right there. Portia, mm -hmm. he's coming home with him. Mm -hmm. Cool, Shane. Thank you.